On a recent trip to North Carolina, I noted these bald cypress trees growing in a municipal park. I thought, what a great tree this is. I'd like to discuss this with you to tell you more about the bald cypress and also about another tree that's very similar called the dawn redwood. Bald cypresses grow fast. They are usually found in wet environments and they can withstand up to six months of being inundated by water during the seasons. This tree is easy to grow in the landscape and I do grow them at our farm in Fountainville, PA. However, they're not native to any place that I know of in Pennsylvania, but they will grow here. The bald cypress has a very durable wood for the heartwood and is used in many applications where great strength is needed and durability. The dawn redwood and the bald cypress make great landscaping trees and they can be seen at Highland Hill Farm. And in this video, I'm going to show you more about the differences between the two and how to distinguish between them. In this video, I'm going to tell you the difference between a bald cypress and a dawn redwood. First off, the similarities between the two are very much apparent. They both have green foliage. They both have a browner bark to them. They both are a deciduous conifer, which means that they have cones and they lose their leaves in the wintertime. To tell the two differences apart, the first thing we always look at is to see whether how the leaves are arranged on the stem. We call it other opposite, which is what the dawn redwood is, and alternative, which is what the bald cypress is. Opposite is very easy to see. The leaves come off of the branch opposite of one another. And anytime anyone says that a plant is opposite, always take a look at the, the, at the branch. And if you see the leaves coming off or the branches branching off of each other, they should always be opposite of one another. Bald cypress is alternate. So when you take a look at the foliage and the leaves and the branches, the branches and the leaves always alternate from one another. So there's a leaf here on the uh, directly the opposite side there is no leaf, but up a little bit there's another leaf. So they alternate as they go up the branch. Another way we can take a look at this opposite versus alternate leaf style is when we take a look at just one leaf, the leaflets on that one leaf are arranged alternate on the bald cypress and the leaflets on the dawn redwood are arranged opposite. So dawn redwood is an opposite leaf branched plant the bald cypress is an alternate leafed plant. This is an, one leaf of a bald cypress. This is one leaf of dawn redwood. As you can try to see, the leaflet, which is these little green guys going either side, is just one part of the leaf. And then all those leaflets connect to a midrib which comes down and ends right where it goes into the, the stem at. If you look at the leaflets they are arranged alternate of each other. On the dawn redwood it has the same leaflet onto the midrib going down but they're arranged opposite of each other. If you ever see a plant and you're not quite sure whether it's bald cypress or dawn redwood take a look at the leaflets and how they're arranged. If they are opposite of one another, they must be dawn redwood. If they alternate back and forth, it must be bald cypress. At Highland Hill Farm, we grow both the dawn redwood and bald cypress. We sell them from small seedlings up to large trees. These are our seedling dawn redwoods in pots growing in a greenhouse. They're about 24 inches tall. We also have in the field these five to six foot dawn redwoods that were planted only two years ago. They have very fast growth, 
and they're easy to grow. And an added benefit of the Dawn Redwood is that it is deer resistant, not deer proof, deer resistant. If you need plants or shrubs, give us a call at Highland Hill Farm, 215-651-8329. Thank you.